Hi everyone, I have a fun book today. It's called Macabre, and it's by John Lithgow and illustrated by C.F. Payne. I bet you see a lot of these guys outside in your yards. They're very busy this time of year. One Sunday in springtime, Macabre arose from his Central Park carousel nest. He straightened his whiskers and polished his nose and set off for the place he loved best. He scampered past pigeons and poodles and geese, past boathouse and bandshell and zoo, past joggers and skaters on mounted police, to a palace on Fifth Avenue. For inside was a splendid collection of art, a sight for a squirrel to treasure, a feast every week for his eyes and his heart, which Macabre could savor at leisure. Through the window he gazed at Van Dyke and Van Gogh, appraise every Rembrandt and Titian. He would scrutinize Rubens' peruse each Rousseau, inspect each Latrousse and Cassette and Miro. He would find a new favorite each time he would go, and nobody charged him admission. But a stranger appeared this particular day as Macabre peered down through a skylight. She stood at an easel beneath a Monet that depicted a haystack at twilight. Macabre observed her for hours on end as she copied each texture and shade. He noted the stroke of each brush she'd extend the rare concentration and care she'd extend. She'd become his unwitting and unknowing friend by the time the day had started to fade. So he hid in the box where her paints were all stowed while she bicycled home unaware. Then he sneaked himself into the modest abode as she hauled her equipment upstairs. From the box after midnight, the stowaway crept, stretched his limbs and adjusted his eyes. And while she slept, he rifled through all her supplies. Macabre's dull life with its tedious toils all at once seemed a hundred times duller as he straddled the palette and squeezed out some oils and discovered the wonders of color. He dabbled at a canvas with cadmium green, employing his tail as a brush, then magenta and ultramarine. Crimson and bright tangerine, such a radiant rainbow he never had seen, so splashy and lavish and lush. By morning, Macabre was finally done and so proud that he practically fainted. He'd been looking at paintings from day number one, but never at a painting that he painted. As the sunlight poured in, he was ready to go, leaving everything just as he found it. Through the transom, he scrambled his canvas and toe, rolled up with a shoelace, tied around it. A truck trembled by as Macabre alit. On the side, it said, Park Sanitation. He bounded aboard it, ignoring the grit, and completed his peregrination.
He returned 30 times by the following fall, and the paintings poured forth like a geyser. He fastened them all to his living room wall, and the woman was never the wiser. So if some July you should chance to pass by, look around for a squirrel with a gleam in his eye and some paint on the tip of his tail. And if you should visit the old carousel, look up at its uppermost part. Inside, although nobody ever could tell, a talented squirrel continues to dwell. And if you try, you can picture it clear as a bell. And here are all of his paintings. Whoa. And go grab a paintbrush and some paint and make a painting. Have a good day.